Hey Libra, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe, and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. <clears throat> this is going to be a general reading for our Libras. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Libra, then this reading is for you. Okay, well, we have, it's time to release negativity. A fiery climax approaches. Bring love into this situation. Expect powerful change. Underlying energy here is meditate and contemplate. All right. So if you guys hear Sage and his dad in the background, I don't know, child. Okay. <laughs> I became my BFF Jill. But meditate and contemplate. Keep yourself balanced. Okay. Um, a fiery climax is approaching here. All right. Uh, with something, I feel like you're about to be releasing negativity. You're about to be letting it go. You can expect some powerful change to be coming in here. Okay. I thought you guys see this, you know, this is just a matter of when it's going to happen. Yeah. Like I said, two of pentacles, keeping everything balanced. Okay. Let us see. Spirit told me to get straight into the tarot. So that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> All right, so we have the seven of wands and the nine of cups. Okay, so I feel like you guys are being attacked here. You're being attacked because you have your heart's desires or you're getting your heart's desires or something like that. Okay, let us see. Yeah, the ace of swords here. Okay, the five of swords. Yeah, so somebody, I feel like there's a karmic to you somewhere. They talk mess or they talk slick or they say and do really slick shit, but only to try to like, downplay your your happiness or something like that you get what i'm saying so this is a person that maybe you're releasing this karmic energy they're negative you're releasing them you, you get what i'm saying because they always have something negative to say they're not really supportive they're a very chaotic uh type of energy i, I just heard warmonger so maybe they just like to start ish with people you get what i'm saying we have the devil energy yeah um and the emperor so this is a karmic masculine okay so there's a karmic masculine that just likes to start shit you get what I'm saying? Just likes to start shit, stir the pot, see what they can do. You get what I'm saying? Um, that's it. Yeah, so with the Queen of Swords, I thought like you guys are going to be keeping it moving. All right. Now, you don't have to handle them in the way that they handle you. That's why I feel like we bring love into this situation. You're going to release them with love. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you did love the person. Or you do love the person. But with the Knight of Wands here, it's a very playboy type of energy. Somebody who says or does whatever to try to, like, get in people's pants. And, you know, it is what it is. They they romanticize people. You get what I'm saying? Um, what do they call them? A romantic? I, but it's to an extreme, though. I can't think of what they call it. Um, womanizer? Hmm... Something like that. We got the three of swords here. Okay, I don't feel like I'm saying the right word. But the three of swords is, yeah, they cause a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. Maybe they have caused you a lot of heartache and pain. This is someone who's very foolish. They're very immature. They do a lot of crazy things. Usually when we see the fool, it's somebody that's taking a leap or taking a chance toward love. This is somebody that's just straight up immature, though. That's what I'm hearing from spirit, okay? And I don't ever doubt what it is that I hear from spirit. So I believe that, right? We got this fool card being clarified by, yeah, temperance. Okay, so... Hmm. <clears throat> the lovers. I feel like this person. I feel like in due time, you're going to see what it is that you need to see about them. Because for some of you, you could be thinking that this person is your divine counterpart. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like in due time, you're going to see up. Oh, actually, no, this person is a karmic. You get what I'm saying? Type shit because they are always causing you some sort of conflict, setback, you know, something. You get what I'm saying? They're not really supportive. They should be, but they aren't. Um, you know, it's like they're a nuisance or, uh, you get what I'm saying? Some shit like that. Like I'm having a hard time channeling it right now because spirit is just really dragging them. I'm not going to lie to you because the way that this person did you or the way that they do you, it's like, they just do you foul and feel like it's all willy nilly and <laughs> spirit is not here for that shit at all. I'm telling you that right now. So let us see three of swords. <clears throat> I feel like if you're unclear on who spirit is talking about, meditate and contemplate and you'll know exactly who is who. We have the seven of cups. Yeah, because I feel like you're confused. You don't know who is who. I feel like, yeah, two of swords. See, the girl's too damn good. With some meditation and contemplation, maybe even a little journaling. You get what I'm saying? 
you, I feel like you'll truly see what you need to see. I feel like time is a really great teacher. Yes. The girl is too freaking good. The Wheel of Fortune. As soon as I said that shit, yo. I say it being funny, but I'm serious. You have to know who you are. You have to believe in yourself. And I believe in myself because spirit definitely be moving through me, okay? With this Wheel of Fortune, I'm telling you, like, time is a really, really great teacher. You have learned a lot. A person can tell you whatever they want to tell you. But you can definitely believe what it is that you see. You got somebody around you that's not shit. They don't tell you the truth. They're not honest. They're karmic to you. They're karmic masculine. Their mission is to slow you down, is to stop you. That's their mission, okay, in your life. So I feel like, yeah, see the seven of swords. I feel like now the time has come for you to move forward. Yeah, their mission was to keep you stuck. For some of you, you're probably married to this person. High priestess energy, you know that you it's time to move this it's time to move this along okay so yeah if this was your reading or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and heavy